This video did over 500 million views for my brand True Earth. It generated millions of dollars and skyrocketed our brand to massive success in September of 2020. Today, I'm gonna break down exactly each element in this video, why it works, and how you can replicate this for your brand. Let's get into it. So this video was called Things That You Should Never Mix With Water and was produced by a friend of mine named Joseph Wilkins. It was a video that was supposed to mimic the Harmon Brothers style videos. I actually met Joe inside the Harmon Brothers community after buying their program, which is really fantastic. I'd suggest buying it if you haven't already and want to do this style of video. So I'm going to break it down for you. Let's get into it. All right. So there are eight different elements in these videos that make them unique. And I'm going to go through what each of them are one by one so that you can replicate this for your own brand. So let's get started. Things you should ne never mix with water. Mascara. Home electronics. Sodium metal. Witches. Do you know what really shouldn't have water added to it? Laundry detergent. So that first little bit there, it was pretty long. That was a hook. So that's the first 15 seconds of the video. It could be considerably shorter. It could be even longer in some cases. In some of the Harmon Brothers videos, they are very long. But the goal here is to hook a very specific audience. My product sells to pretty much anybody who washes clothes, so it's a little bit more generic, but if you were selling a, a supplement that increased your testosterone, you probably want to be targeting men who wish they were more manly or who are feeling you know, less than what they'd like to be in their lives. So like things like guys getting into tractors that are super jacked, it doesn't really matter specifically what it is as long as it is relevant and interesting to your target audience. And these, you should be aiming for 40% plus. I like to hit 50% for one that, that's working really well. Typically when I make these higher production videos, I shoot for at least three different hooks, but I would implore you to shoot for 10 or more. The good thing is, is the hooks you can usually recreate pretty quickly and they don't necessarily need to have the exact actors that were in the video. They can dig out hooks on places like TikTok by, by searching for the most engaged content on a particular topic. Super easy. So let, let's keep going. The next section in the video is gonna be the problem. Why laundry detergents like these contain insane amounts of water, which is why they're so heavy. <laughs> and this, this is I'm just gonna pause this for a second, but you can see that she's digging deeper into the problem. She's basically said that laundry detergent bottles are heavy because they contain mostly water, and now she's gonna get into the waste side of things. How much waste the average family creates in a lifetime just from buying laundry detergent? Look at that. It's more plastic than a than an episode of Real Housewives. <laughs> and you know, since we are doing a Harmon Brothers style video here. There is lots of little jokes inserted. I know that not every brand is gonna to wanna to have jokes in their creative, but for us, we found it was a great way to lighten the environmental friction that most brands put out there. You know, I love jokes. I like to crack jokes myself. So to me, this was exactly where we wanted to go, but you don't have to use jokes in this format for it to be successful. Let's keep going. And while technically many of these are recyclable, studies show that only 20% will actually reach the recycling plant, leaving the other 80% filling up landfills or worse. You accepted the challenge to boycott plastic straws, get a hybrid vehicle, and replace your toxic deodorant with baking soda. What's that smell? I should rethink that one. Now join the revolution to say no to bulky, wasteful detergent bottles. So now we're about to enter part three. This is where we introduce the solution to the problem that we just introduced. Introducing True Earth Eco Strips. Pre so before I, I, I go any further here, you're probably thinking like, well, Ryan, that's crazy. You're not even introducing the solution until over a minute into the video. And that might be crazy in some scenarios, but the thing is, is that the longer you can get somebody to pay attention to your message, and buy into the narrative, the easier it is for you to introduce 
a product to them because after a minute into the video, they we've obviously self-segmented people who aren't interested in these topics. And we've already like, they've committed their time, the video so far. So now they want to see where it's going. If they've spent that over a minute, they're, they have this sunk cost fallacy that if, I, if I've got this far into it, I need to see where this is going. So let's see more about the solution. Prepare to have your mind blown. Step one, tear off a pre-measured strip of this concentrated liquidless detergent. Step two, throw it in your washing machine. And step three, girl, go reward yourself for saving the planet. Just You'll notice there that this is very similar to like those shows that are running at like two in the morning infomercials. We made sure to include a product demo there so people know exactly how to use the product. Part of demonstrating or introducing the solution is making sure that people know how to use it. If you ever watched the slap chop video, the guy demonstrates slap chopping like a hundred different products or hundred different foods. Oh yeah. So people can imagine specific scenarios where that could work for them. Anyways, let's continue. Just listen to that sound. That's the sound of me reducing my carbon footprint. One other interesting thing there is she was showing an end state where she's relaxing, which chores generally don't do. So we're not just showing the product, we're also showing Hey, look, life is peaceful after you use this. Even though it wasn't, it was kind of subliminal, it was still there. Followed by the ceramic chicken Jim's mom got us for Christmas. Most hideous thing you've ever seen. If we all made just this one simple switch, we'd eliminate over a billion of these wasteful jugs each and every year. And since true earth takes up a fraction of the space, you can use your shelves for more ah. important. Again, before and after. This is another benefit that we've tucked in here. You can now see that the cupboard space that was packed full of plastic jugs is now nice and clean. And we inserted a joke about how you can put your snacks there so that you can, instead of uh, just doing laundry, you can kind of relax away from your kids. Things. <laughs> it's genius. <laughs> Mommy's doing laundry, honey. Do you want to come help? Never mind. So if you like clean clothes and a clean planet, join the movement. Okay, so we're about to enter step four here. Step four is the call to action. I know we're at two minutes and four seconds into this video before we even suggest that somebody goes and visits the website. That's a long time. This video absolutely crushed it and went crazy viral, getting millions of views within a day. So if you think that's something that's limiting the video, think again. Be part of the solution instead of the problem. Click below right now to try True Earth Eco Strips today. True Earth comes with a 100% love it or re Okay, so right after the call to action, we go into uh, basically busting objections, which is what you're about to see here. We started with 100% money back guarantee. Return it guarantee. If it doesn't clean your clothes, and I mean perfectly, send it back for a refund. And because they're paraben free, phosphate free. Again, we're, we're busting objections and we are uh, basically showing more benefits here. And sensitive on the skin? Unlike your baking soda, it won't give your skin that nasty rash. No! The choice is yours. Keep buying those heavy, bulky, wasteful, waterlogged containers or join the mill. And now we're jumping into social proof. We're quickly showing how many people, she just said, join the millions of people who have made the change. There's a whole bunch of social proof here from Facebook. This actually, this part wasn't actually in the original video, it was a little bit different, but we've edited it because there was only 100,000 people who were customers when we first got this. But here we're showing the social proof. So this is step number six. Millions of happy customers who have switched to the simplicity, sustainability, and satisfaction of True Earth. Click below for your risk-free trial. Okay, and this is step number seven. It is a second call to action. Yes, it's a second one because the first one's in the middle right after you've given them the solution. This is for people who have higher awareness or just have a tendency to make more impulse purchases. The second call to action is for the people that needed the additional social proof. They needed the additional benefits. They needed the objections busted. So we're gonna have this here now. It's the second one. And then... Now, I'm pretty sure there are two things I do now need to add water to. Get them, Evelyn! You'll notice here there's still 
about 30, almost 30 seconds left in the video. And this is the outro. So if people have watched the video to this point and they're like, oh, I, I wanna buy this. If the video just ends, it's gonna flip to the next video. They don't get any time to think about it. They don't get time to pause the video, look for the link below. We're gonna do an outro here now that's focused on giving the, the user an opportunity to click while also entertaining them a little bit. Yep, True Earth can even get these looking clean and smelling fresh again. Don't believe me, huh? Take the True Earth 30-day challenge. Come on, click now. Do it. Use your finger or your mouse right now. <laughs> and then we just basically let it sit on this, this, this last screen for about five seconds. That's the format. Like some other things that you should probably consider inside of these videos because they do tend to get so many views is look at making sure that you mention your brand name as, as many times as possible without being obnoxious. So you, you wanna leverage the, the attention, also embed your brand in their mind. You know, I'm just gonna reiterate what the eight different steps are when you're making these videos. It's the hook, followed by the problem, followed by the solution, followed by the call to action, followed by busting objections and making sure you list all of the benefits or demonstrate them, demonstrate social proof, final call to action, and then the outro. If you like this video, I'm sure you are going to love this other video that you can see up here. It's my $100 million landing page template that you can use to build landing pages for e-commerce products designed to maximize conversion rate and average order value. Check it out and I'll see you in the next video.